Azure portal, it is mentioned uh, currently it is name three JSON. You see here, refresh it, name three JSON file is that it would be overridden using this particular CMD file. If I apply it, So this is the Terraform state file. Once it has been done, this particular file will get updated. Uh, agenda for this particular session is a basic introduction about Terraform resources. That is uh, TF state variable and then uh, TFOS remote packet. What is uh, TF state? Terraform world, uh, the extension uh, ending with dot uh, TF state is the heart and soul of Terraform. Basically, it stores the state of cloud service as well as its configuration. This particular code, whatever you have written, a metadata would be stored here. If you don't have any backend, default as a, a local uh, backend, and in your wherever you are executing your Terraform apply, in that same location, it, uh, it will create a file name called as a terraform.tf state. So any operation we do it on uh, cloud, since it is an infrasa code .tf file, we will write it. Think that for resources you are trying to create it. In the first iteration, you do it to configuration you would be residing in the tf state. In the next iteration, next two resources, uh, uh, you're asked to create it. Those two resources, you will code it. And again, you will run your code. So then at that time, what it does is uh, try, try to find the details saying that what exactly it was co coded. That is in the second iteration, we added a two resources. That two resources against the cloud, it uh, checks it. So those configuration, the new two resource configuration, metadata or conf uh, config details, it won't be there in this state. And as well as it won't be created in cloud infra, right? So what it does is uh, when you run a Terraform plan or apply, so it clearly says that the two resources has to be changed. Two resources has to be added. So, and then when you uh, uh, enter yes, then it will go and create the same resources. All the heart of our Terraform is TF state. Variables, it is uh, serves as a, a parameters. So at a runtime, you can change a variable. Okay, same code is there. In most of the cases, what happens is, uh, so normal cases, uh, we would be having minimum four environments. One would be dev, test, uh, pre-prod and prod. In software industry, we follow a uh, dry concept. Uh, dry means uh, do not repeat yourself. So that means the infra is a code, what you have written at those, that particular code, we won't be touching it. For uh, for a dev, the same code be code would be used. For higher environment, same code would be used. Only the variable names it gets to change it. For example, if you wanted to create a resource group in dev, a resource group name you'll you'll append at the end uh, so that in order to differentiate. If it is a pre-environment, hyphen pre you'll attach. And subsequently, in order to distinguish which resource group it is there, you will append respect to environment. It's only the name gets changed, but the code of creation of those resources would remain the same. So that is the reason we use variables. So there are, as I told earlier, uh, you can use uh, create a variable in a string format or a number. A number is basically one to whatever number you can give it. Boolean, uh, true or false. So uh, in further in that one, you can use uh, a, a type as a list or a set as well as a map. What is TFOS? So there are two types of are there. Uh, you can create a variable.tf or variable.tfos. Uh, this naming you can do uh, give whatever you want, but the extension would be dot tf. Tf stands for uh, Terraform. TFOS stands for Terraform variables. So in variables, you mention what type of variable it is and you can assign a default value as well. Whereas TF war files, you directly mention key and value. You won't be mentioning a default string. It is a key value. Variable file, we define it. Uh, if nothing is passed, it will pick it from variable.tf. If you pass anything in variable.tf var files, that uh, value would be overridden. Variable precedence. Many ways you can keep your variables, but I strongly suggest to keep a only one or two places, variable.tf and a variable file, tf var file. Not more than uh, two places. Uh, that is a recommended approach. So if whatever uh, in a variable or TF is written, that it will take precedence. If these all the things, if it is not done, only this value it will be picked. If you have uh, mentioned a variable in this, uh, exported that variable, this uh, two will uh, overwrite whatever it has been mentioned over here. Okay. So then think that you have a terraform.tf var file, if it is present. Then this will override whatever it is mentioned in this file, this file. Similarly, fourth will override all this. File. Fifth is uh, obviously it will override uh, uh, whatever uh, environment key and value it has been set in the uh, previous uh, steps. If we keep uh, a variable file uh, slash where 
rs slash where file via command line it will override rest of the rest of the bit there also you can uh, keep multiple times whatever it has been kept at the last right that would be pick it up coming back to remote backend each terraform configuration what we do is uh, in real world what will happen is if uh, only one person is working uh, you can work on your laptop and you can uh, keep uh, this terraform state in uh, uh, your laptop itself and you can keep on working it but the same code it is uh, worked upon by multiple uh, team members working on the same code then what will happen is this particular terraform state we need to keep it in a centralized location in azure case we use a storage uh, uh, account in a blob we can keep our terraform state so that what will happen is i have modified it i can use the same terraform state and uh, make my changes and commit my code think that if one of my colleague wants to work on the same thing tomorrow he gets a jira ticket in order to work on that he clone the same repo he start working on it since this terraform state is the heart of uh, our terraform code so if it is Uh, not present in centralized location it would be difficult for my colleague to work on it terraform works on with uh, terraform state itself so on a high level terraform main commands what we use is you create your infrastructure as a code you run terraform in it and then plan and then apply once you apply it your code uh, will be I mean, depending on the provider what you use it it will create the resources accordingly creation of a resource group with variables and remote backend the read request for this one it is basically azure account it is required and terraform installed if you see the precedence over here uh, i'll start off with the environment dot uh, variables my code is bit simple so if you see here uh, i'm using a my terraform azure rm and uh, uh, provider credentials with this data only i am able to connect my azure uh, uh, subscription my intention is uh, to create one resource group by default it is uh, beginner.1 is there in variable.tf this is the uh, way you uh, code your variables variable name is this and default i have given it as uh, beginner.1 only this particular code base it will create a resource group called here if you see in uk location it will create there are only two variables basically one is the name the name is coming from this variable.tf that is a default values beginner. one location is uk south that i have coded it first command what you use is uh, terraform minute what it does is uh, it will uh, install all the providers what it has been mentioned in our code now if you see it has created this azure rm we are using it okay so azure rm provider we are using it that it will download it uh, in my local laptop so next command uh, what i would do is it's para from plan so if you see here the name it has picked up what uh, precedence it is saying in variable dot tf it is uh, that is the first preference beginner dot tf so if you could see in my variable that is what it is uh, coming so if i say azure cloud azure hyphen yeah if you see here it has modified that okay let me apply this if i do terraform apply so if you could see here uh, terraform dot tf state it is created now so if you see here it is empty okay this is a local backend the first uh, a uh, slide whatever i showed you was told you about was a terraform state in terraform state will have a, all the related configuration it will have a reference on the from the cloud so now i haven't applied it yet so that is the reason it's a clean state nothing is there let me enter yes so that it should create that particular resource in uh, here and update my terraform state it has created it now okay it took one second it said uh, apply complete resource resources one added zero change zero destroy so let us uh, open this terraform state if you see here now the data is populated right the provider configuration location details and name of it so this is data precedence wise variable from variable.tf so now what we would be doing is we will override whatever it is written over here okay and uh, we will export a variable so if you wanted to export any variable in uh, uh, terraform what you need to do is this is the variable name if you see here the variable name is rj rj stands for resource group underscore name one after tf this bit should be capital letter and then this next data would be the variable name we need to mention okay and equals what is the value you wanted to override in this case what will happen is this variable would be whatever this variable it will override this here name one export 
would will override whatever uh, earlier it was set as a beginner hyphen azure cloud that it will override it so let us test it out now so if you see a terraform plan so if you see here it forces a replacement uh, beginner as uh, beginner hyphen azure cloud it is uh, overridden by this particular uh, variable whatever we have exported it so if you see here uh, it is getting replaced right so replaced in the sense it will add one and destroy one that is what it did so if you see here we had uh, exported uh, with this particular name name one export so that is what it did it deleted uh, this particular name so in this way this precedence uh, works so next precedence wise uh, terraform.tf var file is present that it will uh, override whatever it has it was set over here i am giving uh, uh, precedence name as a two name two and tf was var file so if you apply it so it says name one is being overridden by name two whatever it is mentioned in tf was file let us check it if you see name 2.tf var it is created okay so next in precedence is uh, tf terraform tf was json file this particular file it will overwrite whatever it has been written over here okay so if i do apply again if you see here name 2 is getting overridden by name 3 json file so similarly it is used uh, uh, man if there are any files are present like this whatever it is mentioned in this in this particular uh, sequence it whatever the data is uh, present that would be overridden take to the last one it is basically using uh, slash variable command line that is a precedence value of this bit in order to override that particular uh, variable terraform plan minus var this is the variable name this is the variable name right and this is the value so if you give it so it will uh, try to override it if you see here from name 3 to name 6 it is overridden this is the name 6 what we had passed it in uh, as a variable value i would be passing name 6 as well as a var file okay so if you if you are planning to pass uh, via command line for terraform because these are all the things uh, would be a interview questions would be there uh, any interviewer on a terraform people will ask how exactly you will override any variables so this is this is the basic command from a variable file also you can override whatever it has been mentioned in the file what we do is when we run our pipeline in that pipeline we try to run it like this name six will be over overridden usually what we do is uh, simple uh, rather than uh, running this but we will run like this so that uh, whatever it is the variable is there that would uh, pick it up so if you see here uh, what i'd uh, uh, given is name seven cmd var file in actual uh, in uh, azure portal it is mentioned uh, currently it is name three json you see here refresh it name three json file is that it would be overridden using this particular cmd file okay so if i apply it so this is the terraform state file once uh, once it has been done this particular file will get updated so currently it is the value is name equals name three json this particular tf state file let me close this if i refresh it see here the tf state also got modified and usually we will uh, terraform automatically it creates one backup the one previous backup in uh, tf state dot backup so that would be having a previous value whatever it has been applied so in this way we can override variable precedence in this uh, manner it happens our terraform state file uh, my laptop in this particular location right so if it gets corrupted right it is a bit difficult to recover uh, using terraform so for that purpose what we do is we try to keep our uh, terraform state in azure blob store okay for that extra coding is required that is basically this bit 
So if we need to say for in this provider, backend is Azure RM, resource group is this particular resource group, where exactly our uh, uh, storage account is there. I'll just navigate that. If you go to storage account, this is my uh, storage account. Inside that one, container name, I have given it as a TF state EC. So Terraform state file is this one state.tf state rather than keeping in your local laptop you should keep your uh, terraform state in a, a remote backend in this case azure storage account so if you enable that if you change any backend terraform will give an error because a uh, backend uh, it has been changed in the terraform provider terraform forces us to make initialize it so that is a reason we need to enter in it when we do a in it it finds a uh, azure rm backend Hence, it, it asks you a uh, question saying that, do you want this particular backend to be moved from your local to Azure? Uh, if we say yes, then only it will copy, it will update your, uh, this particular TF state file. Else, it will ignore it. It will think it as a fresh thing, okay? I want my te uh, Terraform state should be maintained in uh, uh, central location. That is the reason I'll put S. So during this command, what it does is, it picks up the data, Terraform state file, and pushes it to Terraform, move the data, whatever it was there in this particular Terraform state, and it pushed to the central location. Now it is empty. So this is uh, around uh, Terraform uh, remote backend. So if you see here, uh, data is moved into this particular location. Okay, so I'll just show you guys to edit. So if you see here, our uh, resource group name is this. The data is synced from local to here. We have list and map, right? This is the default variable is a string, okay? So I have mentioned uh, this particular rg underscore list as a uh, type as a list, okay? List means it can be uh, this one, this one, or this one, okay? Map is basically what you give this. This is the key and for this key, this is the value, okay? That is a map, basically. What I'm trying to do is, uh, I'm creating another few uh, resource group. So what I'm telling the uh, Terraform is, zeroth value is one. For uh, in the similar fashion, for the maps, the key is three. In this particular map, whatever three value is there, that should be the name of my resource group, my fourth resource group, okay? So three value is three RG, okay? Terraform apply. Okay, it has to three to add, one to destroy. My JSON uh, override, it is happening currently. The map RG4, it is basically one map at a run time. I had given a one. So one value is one RG, right? And uh, I had given uh, for list second value. Second is uh, basically, is, uh, list always goes via zero, one, and two, right? Tooth value is three, okay? So you can change at a runtime, uh, when runtime you can't do, you can't do it. Uh, for example, uh, let me take, just I'll put some uh, few names, okay? RG list London, Bangalore, okay? So let us run the Terraform apply. So if you see here, it picked up as part of, uh, who is India list. Here one we have picked it up, that is USA. It has picked it up, okay? So if I enter yes, and yeah, it completed. USA is created, India is created, name three JSON is created. This is how you can use uh, your list as well as map.